Oh boy, what is happening over there in FNAF community? Let's talk about it. What is up, Smack Empire? Smack Empire here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk about this issue since a lot of people are avoiding it, and actually for a good reason too. So I just wanted to give my two cents on the whole situation. So what's going on? Let's do a quick recap. So it came out of nowhere, somebody dug up Scott Cawthon, the creator and developer of Five Nights at Freddy's franchise, their private financial transfers, specifically donations, and they found out that some of the donations are going to some questionable parties, most specifically questionable political parties, we're talking Republican parties. We've had Trump in there, his campaign, and other Republican Party politicians, and that was not the only issue here. The issue that people were having on the internet, specifically on Twitter, was that some of them who Scott donated to are vocally against LGBT community, and they are fully anti-LGBT. Now again, for many of you guys who are watching, you might not be aware of any of this, so I'm gonna try to keep it as short and understandable as possible. So this happened, Twitter went off, even right now, FNAF and Scott Cawthon both are trending and everybody is going in. They're going ham on Scott Cawthon specifically. So, this is the situation right now. Scott hasn't given any response. Moderators on the FNAF subreddit are doing their best to prevent this from blowing up. But unfortunately, Twitter is the place I would not advise you to go there. It is depressing, whatnot. But here's where I would kind of sort of deviate from the whole topic itself. So, let's talk about Final Fantasy Freddy's the community here. People are confused. People don't know how to feel and what to do because many of the outcry from what I have seen so far, the ones that are very vocal, aren't even FNAF fans to begin with. Now, don't get me wrong. There are many majority of FNAF fans who are part of the LGBT community and they are very upset. And you know what should be? It is a very concerning matter. And I feel like Scott Cawthon's response is very important at this time or not, depending on how you look at the situation. But I really wanted to pose this question to to FNAF fans specifically who are part of the LGBT community that where do you stand in all of this because you know the Twitter peeps they are going wild at Scott Cawthon first of all they successfully canceled that man then they said okay he's a Christian and he's from Texas so one plus one equals two it shouldn't be surprising and they're like nah he is transphobic homophobe you shouldn't associate with him or this franchise that he created all that nasty crap now when it comes to politics and again, I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible. Of course, there's always this scenario where nothing is true black and white. Nothing. You're not, oh, I'm on this side or that side. No, no, no. In politics, it's always in the middle gray area. You can never be right. You can never be wrong. I've seen many Republicans coming out on online saying that there's more to this than what other parties are coming out and saying about Republicans. I'm not a part of this, by the way. I'm not a part of either. I ain't about this pol political life, all right? So... Before we get that out there, I ain't either. None of them. I'm just here as a FNAF fan talking about FNAF stuff. That's it. Now, there is hope for many who are disappointed and angry and mad. A post, very well made post, offers another perspective on the situation and shows that this, all of this money might have been donated through another third party without Scott Cawthon's consent. So they've done this to so many other people. The donations, the intended donations were made in 2019, but then these back-to-back -back donations started to pop in in 2020, last year. So that is what is causing this to be on the thin line. You're not here or there. That thin line is literally we're all waiting for, for Scott Cawthon's response to this. But I feel like I need to bring up this comment because I feel like this sums it perfectly. Reminder that you can acknowledge Scott is a good man while also criticizing some of his actions. I believe Scott is a kind man with a kind heart. That still doesn't change that he donated tons of money to a bunch of anti-LGBT politicians who would love to see people like me and my friends dead. You can be a good person and still inadvertently do bad things. I heavily doubt Scott intentionally donated to those people with the intention to F forward trans people. That being said, regardless of his intentions, that money is going towards people who actively oppress LGBT people have some nuance. So I think like they perfectly summed it up what I want to say on this aspect. So let's bring up some of the stuff that Scott has done. Thousands of dollars to charities, you know, whether it be Doggo Stream, Cory Stream, Matt Pat Stream, the stuff that they have done, and then other donations, charity donations that Scott has made. Not to mention the fact that you can literally 
shut this whole argument down that Scott approved working with Illumix, Stilo Studios, Hex from Daco, who actively support LGBT, and they're still making the Pride Month and whatnot. And then on the other hand, you have Claudia, who Scott chose to work with for graphic novel, who's also part of the LGBT community, and so much more. So the whole point of Nas got intentionally donated to F4, that is a flawed argument in my opinion. And in my opinion, I don't think Scott was doing donating all this to do that but at the same time the best thing to do is not to cancel rather just talk about have a civil conversation about this which i know it's, it's not possible but let's just all wait for scott Cawthon's response on this i'm seeing posts people saying i'm leaving fnaf community and all of that so seeing from coming up from fnaf fans themselves is a little bit heartbreaking i am not taking any word from non-fnaf fans at the moment until we actually get scott's response because yes Yes, you need outside perspectives sometimes, but right now, I think this is pretty much what we can do at this point. But anyways, let me know your thoughts on whole situation down in those comments below. <sighs> this is a mess. Never thought I would see this day. Scott, you have came out of controversies in the past. This one is the peak. Do your thing. I know other YouTubers are intentionally avoiding this topic. You know, I understand. It's like on the internet, there's no once there's no middle ground there's always like no 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 you either gotta be right or wrong you can't be in the middle and i'll see you in the next video